Hi guys, Sprite here, back again for another Friday Live. Good to see all of you this afternoon. Um, hope you're doing well. We are going to prep for the big game Sunday, kind of. Well, we're going to do some stuff that's football related, so yay. Um, very excited about that. Also have a couple of new products to show you and also going to redo the soup mug from last week that I kind of messed up and also going to show you kind of some difference on uh, printing on silver metal between low saturation and high saturation so I hope that works out really well and I'm very glad that you're joining me today so thank you thank you thank you um, hi Jerry on both platforms um, funny funny um, so before we get into all of the fun stuff let's talk about what we have going on right now so this is February we are five days into it and we have a sub gross sub gross promotion because here in Mobile we normally have Mardi Gras this time of the year and we don't have that this year so we're trying to celebrate it as only we can and that is by giving you a really great coupon for $25 off your order of $200 or more we're also discounting our shipping this month um, Doug has uh, a bunch of specials on Oki printers um, I think the 8432 the C711 and then 9451 I always get those numbers wrong but I think all three of those we have a nice like Mardi Gras bundle for you so very 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 excited Oh, <laughs> thank you, Jerry. Hi, Cheryl, Scoob, everybody. Um, okay, but you guys know, as Jerry just said, um, hit the like button, share this video, um, and, and if you do, you have a chance to possibly get these two football-related images. So if I get my viewership up. I'm, I know I have a lot of people watching and I really, really appreciate it. If you guys share this, I know you're in some sublimation groups. I know you know some people that can benefit from some of these demonstrations we're going to be doing today. Um, are you seeing Sprite on screen? I, I, don't, I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, anyways, share this video. Let's get the viewership up. And if you watch till the end, maybe you can get some patterns. We'll see. We'll see. So, okay, let's talk about some new things that we just got in. So we just got these in and they're not on the website right now, but they will be on the website tomorrow. And these are our brand new puzzles. So we have four new sizes of puzzles. This is the PZL51. It's an eight by 10 and it's I think it's like 98 pieces, so it's right at 100 pieces. It's right under 100 pieces. We have the 11 by 14, which is the PZL52. And I want to say this one's like 252 pieces. We have the 16 by 20, which is I think like 500 and something pieces. This is PZL53, and then, I don't know if you guys are puzzle people, but I really like puzzles. So we finally got the big boy in. This is a 24 by 30, it's PZL54, and this is like a thousand pieces, right under a thousand pieces. We had a lot of fun pressing this. Um, it's going to take a lot of... Um, 
it's going to take a lot of self-control to not bring this home and, and take it apart and try to put it back together. But I love puzzles. I even have a puzzle app on my phone, so I'm really excited about these. They're PZL 51, 52, 53, and 54. They'll be on the website tomorrow. Really good prices on them, so I'm really excited about it. And I don't know if you guys know this, but puzzles were huge last year, and I don't expect them to get any less huge. Um, a Brother MFC J475 with an extra tank for sublimation ink. I tried on sublimation paper for a mug. It's not working. Um, I don't know anything about the Brothers with sublimation. Um, uh, I don't know if you can convert that for sublimation. Oh, hey, Mom. Um, so I'm not sure. That's a good question. Um, Darla, that's a great idea. We will. We will definitely press the thousand piece on a future video. Of course, I'm going to have to do it back in the R&D lab where our big maxi press is because it is a little too big for this one. Although we were talking about the way to do this and I like to press the puzzles with the cardboard backing on there because obviously you don't want to have to put puzzle pieces together. I mean, you know, when you're trying to sell them. And so we were kind of talking about maybe pressing it and moving it and pressing it again, but I don't know. I'd have to try on this DK20S. Okay, what else? I think that's all the new products. Guys, we have some really, really, really cool stuff that's coming in um, in the next couple of months, and I'm so very excited. So very excited, and I know I get excited a lot, but um, I'm really excited, and I'm not going to spoil it for you, so I'm sorry. Okay, first thing. Um, yeah, we're, I'm definitely going to try it on this uh, on this 20, uh, DK20S with the 16 by 20. I don't think, I, I'm pretty sure that if I tried to do this big boy on here, um, it would have to be, I mean, I'd have to press it, press it. It would be four presses, and so the middle would kind of get mm, discolored. But I'm with this one, which is the 16 by 20, I can just do the 16 piece side, press it, take the paper off, scooch it over, and do this side. And I may have a little bit of discoloration in the center of it, but... I think it would work. We'll have to we'll have to play. We'll have to play a little bit. So <laughs> Jerry, you're so sweet. Okay. So big game this weekend. The Patriots and the Chiefs. No, it's not the Patriots, but it is Tom Brady. So um, Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Chiefs. All right. Um, so obviously I'm not going to do any NFL logos because you can't do that unless you have a license, which are very hard to obtain, but we are going to do some fun stuff. So first let me redeem myself. Let's do the mug. What is this? Mug 045. Yes. So this is our new soup mug. Um, it is, I think... I think, didn't I say it was like 14 ounces last week? I don't remember anymore. Um, um, Condi will press for us, correct? Yes. If Yes, we do print services for people that don't have big enough equipment. Um, it's available on our website. Uh, you can scroll down to the very bottom of the website on like a little tiny piece that says print services. We definitely do print services. Um, Rhonda, we, I'm, I'm telling you, we got some good stuff coming this year. Some good, good stuff. Okay. Ugh. All right. So, got my soup mug. Let's, um, Barb, what'd I do to the camera? <laughs> what'd I do to the camera, Barb? Okay. Let's go here. Let me fix this. I know Miriam, you told me last week, and I, I didn't. I didn't really, I did listen, but then I forgot today. So let's, let's 
zoom out a little bit and see if this makes it stop being so very blurry. Okay, so I've got my soup mug, mug 045. And I've got my template. This is a full bleed template and it's got the Sasquatches on it. You guys know I love my Sasquatches. Um, and this is also our first pattern, which is our plaid pattern. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's in there. Really? Um, you should be able. So, Chastity, did you watch the um, did you watch the video? Um, because in the video on the watch bands, I put it on a Fitbit. Now, if it's one of those little teeny tiny, like thin, I think those are the Garmin's. It's not going to fit on there. Oh, um, but uh, any regular watch band, like actually, if I could get this my little Walmart watch off of. If I could get the face off of this band, it would actually work with these because it just kind of fits in there. Um, oh, I got you, Barb. You wanted to see the with the big puzzle on the press. Oh, I got okay, girl. I, I see what you're saying. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. Thank you. I didn't realize. Okay, so this is the 16 by 20, right? So you would press it with the cardboard on it, and I would just do one side, you know, press it, peel the paper off, and then with it still on the cardboard, very carefully just slide it over and then just do my second press. Actually, I wouldn't peel the, the transfer paper off. I would just leave it on there. So maybe we'll do that next week. We'll probably, we'll probably do that next week. Oh, thank you, Linz. Thanks, Linz. Lindsay just posted that watch band video. If you're, um, you need to I can't get my spring on oh I know girl it's um you got to have fingernails and it's 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 kind of it's a little difficult okay do I have a template for the cup yes rosemary so our templates um they are available online if uh so if you're logged into your account you should be able to download them from the product page I'm hoping today that we get them all uploaded to the um, order history page because I was I didn't know that they weren't um, they weren't going to be there, which is my fault. But all right, so I've got my mug and it's going to go all the way under the handle. Hi, Mark. Hey, great video with the wire on the tumblers that was such a cool idea if you guys haven't checked out mark's videos go to subla blog on youtube and check it out he is doing so many great things with these full bleed templates that i just i, I just i can't do it i mean i, I if i had <laughs> if i had more time i think um but they really the templates just oh they make my brain hurt so thank you mark you are the best your videos are great. All right, so I'm just gonna tape here on the top. I'm gonna tape in the middle and I'm gonna tape on the bottom. I wanna make sure everything is really nice and tight. Oh, guys, I'm sorry, it's so cold where y'all are. I think it's about um, 60 degrees today, but, but, it's supposed to snow next weekend. Y'all, I've seen snow four times in my entire life. And twice was like a couple of years ago. And I, so that doesn't really count. But yes, I'm so excited. We might get snow. I know a lot of you are like, snow, blah. But, you know, it's, we don't ever, ever, ever get snow. I remember the blizzard of 1993 <laughs> where it actually stuck on the ground. That was fun. Okay. Um, what inkjet printer is best for sublimation? Well, um, you know, we recommend the saw grasses. Uh, unfortunately, it's not in kind of in your price range, but I know a lot of people um, do some conversion stuff. Um, and I know there's a lot of Facebook groups about that. Okay, so I've got my template all over my mug. I've got Piece of tape on the top, piece of tape in the middle, piece of tape on the bottom. Um, <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? Here you go. And I've got my SF76. 
73 degrees in Tampa. Yep, that's what I'm that's what I'm liking. Although I am seeing all my Florida friends freak out about it being cold, which I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah, Suna, I don't know what an ice storm is. I actually learned the term the term um, snow thunderstorm the un the other day. I heard that for the first time. I'd never ever heard that before, and um, you know, <laughs> just. Um, and speaking of Suna, very, very uh, love you so very much. Suna is in Canada. I just had a question um, about if we ship to Canada, and um, we do, but I'm, I'm not sure. Suna, you go over the border to get your packages, don't you? Which, I mean, you, not, not now. I know you can't do that right now, but okay. Let's go SF-79. That didn't work. Huh, that's interesting. Okay, so I've got my SF-79. You guys can see I split it down the seam. Doesn't really matter where I split it at. I do have a lot of excess. You can cut that off if you want to and you can use it. Um, no, Dean, we will not. So what I'm going to do now, what I failed to do last week was tape it down securely enough. So I'm just going to make sure I use a lot of tape. Not that piece. Get it kind of tight. Really just want to kind of anchor it down and then kind of go back and secure it. So once again, piece on the bottom, piece on the top. Negative 18 Celsius in Calgary. That's, uh, I don't, you know, I have no words for that. I don't even know. I would, I would probably just die. We were in northern Alabama a couple of weeks ago and it was like, 10 degrees and you could definitely tell we were from somewhere that doesn't get cold because we were all so bundled up and everybody around us was like just in regular jackets and, and we were in mittens and gloves and scarves and we were freezing and yeah it was pretty funny so I don't think I could do what all of you guys are talking about with all of the uh, snow and ice storms oh what's an ice storm okay Barbara I'm telling you, we got a lot of good stuff coming this year. That's all, that's all I'm going to say. A lot of good stuff. Okay, so I'm going to turn my heat press off for just a second. Use my heat gun. All right, Mark. Scotland. Fantastic. I've always wanted to go there. All right, so I'm just going to kind of tuck it in. Now, when we are doing a full bleed with the handle, what I like to do is I like to shrink all of this part first and then shrink the handle so hopefully it doesn't pull apart like it did last week. Okay, so... That's basically it. You know, we're going to, I've got my oven set for 400 degrees. I've got my internal thermometer on there because my digital readout actually is in between 350 and 400. So you always got to check your temperature. I'm going to set my clock for 10 minutes. If I can find it, there we go. It's only the same phone I've had for years. And here we go, put it in and let it sublimate. Okay, and I think I, we've talked about this a couple of weeks, but my oven, I've had it for a couple of years now and um, I, can, I noticed that the fan is going out in it. So I'm actually going to post, um, in five minutes, I'm gonna turn the mug all the way around so both sides get very well equally sublimated. Okay. What was the number for the large puzzle? PZL54. So they're not on the site yet. They'll be on the site tom uh, tomorrow. They are, we upload every night. So, all right. While that is happening, let's do some other stuff. Um, so last week we had a question about um, 
promotional items for real estate agents. Ooh, turn that back on. And one of the things we talked about were mouse pads. And so we're going to do, this is the second um, artwork. We're going to do a landscaping promotional mouse pad. Hey, Crystal Ann. And so here's my mouse pad. This is the thin one. We have, um, we have quite a few different styles of mouse pads. We have the black back and the tan back. And then we have a lot of different shapes. Um, this is the thinner one. I personally prefer the thicker one. But, um, you know, uh, somebody asked on the forum yesterday or today about um, the difference between the tan back and the black back. And the only thing that I've noticed, I like the presentation of the tan back. I think it sublimates better because you don't have like a black underneath the, the fabric. But the only thing I've noticed is because I have one at my desk, which I've had for, you know, three years, is that the tan, you know, it will get dirty. But... Like I said, I've had mine probably way too long, and that's just because I never throw anything away, ever. Okay, so for this, we're going to do this. Oh, by the way, this is MP96. I'm going to lint roll it. And here I thought I had everything ready. I was so proud of myself. going to lint roll it. I'm going to apply just a little bit of pro spray to my image. Um, so guys, when you use the pro spray, make sure you're not spraying it like this. You do definitely want to hold it back. You want to make sure that the, um, that the tip is clean. I've got a great video on how to clean your tip. If your tip is not clean, it will deposit little like droplet look uh, on your artwork, which will distort your colors. So you want to make sure that tip is nice and clean, real easy to do. All right, so I'm just going to hold it back a little bit, spray it down, and then put this on, line it up. Okay, and I'm going to put a piece of protective paper on the bottom. Let me move this camera so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. Whoop, wrong way. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to put a piece of protective paper on the bottom. I'm going to put my product face up, image face down on top of the protective paper. Put another piece of protective paper on there. And if you guys are new, the reason we do the protective paper is because this heat press is a lot more expensive than this protective paper, and you don't want to get any kind of residual dyes or ink on there. 400 degrees for 60 seconds with light pressure. So I need to come up a little bit on my pressure. Possibly more. And there we go. Yes, I've got my gloves today. That was one of the first things I made sure I had. So I got them. Um, I am running out of space, I know. Yeah, so this is our spray adhesive. It's specifically designed for the heat, um, so and it, it also won't leave any kind of residue or anything on your, um, your product, so. Okay, Shiloh, I got you. <laughs> um, so the pointers for cleaning the tips of your sprayer. Ooh, what I step on? So all you have to do is take the tip out. Soak it overnight in acetone, which is fingernail polish remover, but you know, you can just buy acetone at like the hardware store. Soak it overnight in acetone, take it out in the morning, run it under water, let it dry for about an hour, and then it, all of that gunk will have uh, disintegrated. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to twist my thing, so. <laughs> okay, so this turned out really good. Let me show you guys what this looks like. And this is with our football pattern. So, so here we go. 
It is for a landscaping company, and you can put any kind of verbiage you want on there. And, you know, the thing about mouse pads is, one, they're really cheap. And two, you know, people see them like literally every day. Uh, at least I, I see my mouse pad every single day. So, you know, these are really great promotional items for you to maybe put like a cool graphic on or, you know, just to promote your business. Um, give away samples. We do it all the time. Um, if you place an order, ask your rep for a sample of something. You're more than likely to get it. And, um, you know, samples sell. They, they sell. So. Nice. All right. So my first thing, football mouse pad. I got three minutes left on this guy, and I'll know when it's done when I start to see the image come through the sublift shrink a little bit. No, Ray. Uh, Ray says he puts his mugs in the oven upside down. Is that wrong? Absolutely not. It really doesn't matter. Um, as long as you're not putting any of the image on any of the racks, then you should be perfectly fine. Moving right along. Um, I don't know what kind of Super Bowl party would be complete without an apron. I don't know if you guys know this, but I absolutely love this apron. Um, oh, very good question, Darla. So Darla asks, if you are doing a bulk amount of mugs, can you shrink wrap them in advance like an hour, or will it start the sublimation process due to the heat gun? Okay, so we do large runs of mugs all of the time. Um, uh, in the production lab, and we, that's how we do it. We, everything is prepped, all of the shrink wrap is on, I say we, that's how they do it, all the shrink wrap is already on, and then they'll put it in the oven. So this gun is actually not putting out enough heat or long enough heat, um, um, <laughs> You guys are messing me up with your comments. Uh, so the gun's not going to start sublimation. So yes, you can definitely prep your mugs way ahead of time. That's fine. No problem. Um, the number of the mug with the lid, uh, which, girl, we got so many. If you're talking about the new Tum Hug, like with the one that I was kind of drinking out of, um, this bad boy, this is Tum Hug 221. We're actually going to do one of these today. Okay. I can't tell you more about the new products. Tell Kylie to call me. I asked her to challenge you on a couple of things. Hmm, that does not sound like something I want any part of, but I will definitely tell her to call you. Um, okay, where was I? We got about a minute left. We're gonna do this apron. I love this apron. This is our linen apron. This is JDW743. This thing, it's, I mean, not only is it like really thick and really good high quality, but it's also completely sublimatable front and back. You know, we always talk about branding your products. Um, I did a video once, uh, not too long ago, where I actually put a brand right here of like your company name, great calling card. And yeah, uh, Dan asked, does this, the oven circumvent a mug press? So, Mug presses, there's different, different applications for different things. Um, you know, if you're just doing like handled mugs and you only have a couple, you know, the difference in time between the mug press and the oven is substantial. So you're looking at like a six minute difference, whereas you put it in the oven for six more minutes. But you are limited to the space that you can do on a mug. Also, if you have a tapered mug, you're not going to be able to do that in the heat press. I mean, excuse me, in the mug press. And if you have a mug that's too large, you're also not going to be able to fit it in the mug press. So there's pros and cons depending on what your situation is. You know what, guys? I'm going to let this go a little bit longer because I still don't see the image coming through. I'm just kind of, I messed up last week and now I'm gun shy, okay? So, um, no, Kimberly, it does not, but I've been looking into that. Um, it's, I would have, I have to figure out like how to tell them to, to design a kid's apron and I'm not really sure. So I really need to look into that because I know you guys have been asking about kids' aprons for a long time. Hmm. 
Hmm, I don't know if we should try it or not. So this oven, the reason I like this oven, this is a Hamilton Beach extra large rotisserie oven, model number 31108 or 05D. There's a lot of different model numbers and they're just like slight changes like in the color and stuff like that. This oven comes, it's under $100 at Walmart and it fits all of our tumblers, our large ones, all of them. All you have to do is just take the rack out. So this is a good investment oven. Um, I, did, I, I did say that it is kind of starting to go out, but I literally use it, you know, it's on every single day. I've had it for two years now. I have no idea. Time has no meaning anymore. It really doesn't. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and see. I think it should be about ready. So I'm going to take it out of the oven and immediately remove the sublu shrink. Um, the longer you let the sublu shrink sit on there and let it cool, the harder it's going to be to take off. So eh, it might be ready. We'll see. Whew. I do have two gloves, don't I? Thank you, Margie. Yeah, this ceramic gets really hot. Yay! Redemption. Redeemed. Whew. Still very, very hot though. So look guys look how cute and all the way under the handle i've got a little bit of white space there i think i just needed to tape it down a little bit more but really cute and it's my sasquatch look i think i'm going to take this mug home with me oh sam squitch okay so let's go back here all right so the next thing that I'm going to do in the convection oven is stainless steel, which sublimates at a lower temperature. Did that really work, Shiloh? Because I've seen that happen. So let's talk about dunking ceramic in water. We used to recommend dunking the ceramic in water, but what happens is... Um, what happens is... Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, that's a that's a weird text to get in the middle of the show. Um, <laughs> I completely forgot what I was talking about. That text message really threw me off. Um, oh, okay, submerging the uh, mug in, in water. Okay, so if you have a ceramic mug and you put it in water, even in lukewarm water, what's going to happen, especially a really, really hot one, is it's going to develop hairline cracks in it because it's going to have thermal shock no matter what. Um, so we really highly recommend you don't do that. Now, I have seen the videos of them taking stuff out and putting it in water, um, but, uh, yep, thermal shock. Um, but I really don't recommend it. Um, but I, I, if it works for you, go on, girl. Thanks, Miriam. Um, this pattern is available, not the Sasquatches, because, but um, the actual plaid pattern. And we talked about that um, maybe at the end of the show. We'll talk more about that. OK, let's. By the way, let's talk about this text message that I just got, because I don't get. Um, this is like an ad, an ad for a, a dehumidifier. I have no idea, but I thought it was important and that's why it kind of threw me off. I don't get text message ads like that. All right, so I turn my heat down. Um, if I'm doing ceramic at 400 and then I'm going to stainless um, at 375 or which at 360, I like to do the hotter one first because it's easier to come down in temperature than it is to go up in temperature. So we'll just let that hang out for a second and kind of cool off. Yeah. 
And while we're waiting for it to cool off, we'll, we will go ahead and do our aprons. So, I'm going to put a sheet of protective paper on the bottom. And I'm going to place my apron on here. So this is fabric, and anytime I have fabric, I do want to lint roll it. And, excuse me, also pre-press it. And with the linen, the linen has a tendency to shrink. So to, um, to save yourself any kind of heartache or anything, I would definitely recommend pre-pressing this for at least 15 seconds. And then, I've got this great design. <laughs> um, so David asked about the drying device that we sell. So that is called the cool plate, and it actually works incredibly well. Um, but unfortunately, due to the pandemic, which I'm, you know what, I've, I've decided that we're not going to call it the pandemic anymore. We're going to call it the pandemonium, the panic at the disco, the Panda Express. Due to the Panda Express, we, um, we, they're, they're no longer making them. So that's um, unfortunate. But what I recommend instead of the cool plate is get you a piece of marble and a fan. The marble will pull the heat out and the fan will automatically stop the um, sublimation process. Um, thank you, Bo. Good looking out. I was just about to answer that question. So um, does the white coated steel work at the lower temperature? So I recommend all of the steel be done at 360. Um, and, and so yeah, all of the steel, all, all of the steel I would say do it 360 and then all of the ceramics do it 400. But also find out what works for you because um, you know, it's just like, uh, on in instructions, like recipe instructions, it says um, the little blurb about, you know, high altitude and things like that can affect your cooking time. It's the exact same thing with sublimation, so always just find out what works with e for you. Okay, so because this is going on fabric, so if I were to be doing this on, let's say, like a t-shirt or something that doesn't have such a, like a an open weave to it, what I would do is what's called deckling the edge. Because if I were to press this into a t-shirt, I'm going to get a lot of hard lines where the edge of the paper is, no matter how little pressure I use, <clears throat> unless I take it and just kind of tear the edges. But with the linen, I don't have to do that. It's a really, really, really hardy fabric. So. I know, I know wind chimes. <laughs> I know, I know. You know, we had a wind chime in here that I did with some acrylic um, ornaments, which also because of the pandemonium, we cannot long, we don't have any more, but eventually. Okay, so I got my little pro spray on there. <laughs> oh. This design is probably my most favorite design I've ever pressed. And I, I want to tell you guys that I have not been designing any of the things for my lives lately, recently, in the past like four months. I have someone else do it. Um, and so a lot of the times when I am seeing something or when you guys are seeing something, I am seeing it for the first time as well. Um, so that's why a lot of these designs have been kind of cracking me up lately. But this one's really funny. Okay. So we're gonna press that 60 seconds. I'm actually gonna increase the pressure just a little bit because it should be about a medium pressure. 60 seconds, 400 degrees, medium pressure. Okay, my oven's at about 375, so that's okay. Okay, now what I have here is I have the same image done with high saturation and with low saturation. And we're going to put this on the silver tum hug so we can see kind of the difference between saturation 
um, like what saturation looks like on a tumbler, uh, on a silver tumbler, excuse me. So this, guys, if you haven't checked this one out yet, this is Tum Hug 222. It has the lid for drinking coffee. It has the gasket for your bottles, and it also fits cans. Okay. <laughs> I just snorted. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, Mom, I know you watch me every week, and I always talk about what I'm going to give Dad, but, like, this is totally going to him. Um, so this is my apron. Look how cute it looks. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's funny to me. That's hilarious. Okay. Oh, the perks of being an artist, you know? I did snort. I'm sorry. That's really funny. That's really, really funny. <laughs> I'm going to get over myself now. Okay. <laughs> Yes, I am a snorter when I laugh. I believe I get that from my mom. Thank you, mom. <laughs> um, somebody asked me what size can fits in the tum hug. Uh, just a regular 12 ounce um, soda can fits just like this. So my husband and I got prototypes of these when we first um, <laughs> when we first. Um, <laughs> thank you guys for enjoying my laugh. Um, when we first got the prototypes in, uh, I took one for myself and my husband, and this has literally been our new favorite thing. Um, we like craft beers, and sometimes craft beers comes in bottles, sometimes it comes in cans, and who likes, one, who likes hot beer, two, who likes your hands to be cold, and three, who likes to have to switch out every time you need a different, you know, bottle or can, so this thing is great. Or soda. Okay. No, you don't get, you do not get that artwork. This is, um, no. Okay. So my dad has this really big, um, like walk-in freezer type thing that he's converted into a smoker. Um, actually, I don't know if he has, yeah, I think he still has it. So this is totally going to dad. All right. So we got high saturation, low saturation. Let's see the difference. Oh, big shout out to my art department for creating this artwork for me. <clears throat> I love that you guys think it's funny that I snore. Yes, I am a snorter. Um, I don't even think about it anymore. It just, it just happens. I think, and then it makes me laugh even more because I realize how ridiculous it is that I snort. I don't know. I have issues. All right. Oh, I didn't cut this well enough. That's okay. So um, I'm not really talking as I'm doing this because I'm like more laughing at myself for snorting. And now I realize that there's a pig on the apron, so I'm really trying not to laugh even harder. But um, what I did with this one is I just ran a piece of tape um, horizontally to kind of tighten it, and then I ran a piece up and down the seam. And then I'm going to put do the same thing for this. I am going to match the seams up in the back. Um. <laughs> Oh, goodness. All right. And I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom. I think I said the back, but I meant the bottom. Okay. All right. So, let's turn the heat press off again. So, we're going to go back to our sublish shrink. <laughs> <laughs> 
So for this one, I'm going to use the SF-76. For the mug, I use the SF-79. Right here in front of me. Okay. And really, the only difference between the 76 and the 79, well, nope. There, is quite, there are quite a few differences. So uh, it's, it's taller. It's also a little bit wider, which I just realized, like, right now at this very moment. Here we go. like that. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my heat press back on and then we're going to put this in the oven for six minutes. <laughs> I'm really trying hard not to continue. What's really funny is when me and my mom get together and we start laughing really hard and then we both start snorting. It's like it's like a never-ending like laugh fest because we're just laughing at each other snorting because it's ridiculous. If you can't laugh at yourself, what can you laugh at, you know? All right, I've got one more thing that we're going to press today, now that I've, you know, whatever. Um, and that is our football plaque. <laughs> so this plaque is U5757. And we are going to put... <laughs> There's another pig on it. <clears throat> We're going to put another graphic on there. <clears throat> so what I like to do, because this is an odd-shaped plaque, is I like to cut my design out beforehand. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to get it under control. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bo, I'm going to get you for that. Um, Actually, it's hilarious. Okay, so I'm going to be doing this one for 1 minute and 20 seconds with a medium pressure. So because of the way this thing is, is kind of shaped, because it has, I think this is called like an OG edge, because it goes past the imprintable area, I, like I said, I like to cut it out so I know that I'm placing it directly on there and I'm not, you know, misaligning it at all. So I'm actually going to use Pro Spray for this. And I'm just going to kind of... Line it up. I got a little bit of pro spray on the plaque. Okay. I think we should all laugh more during this panda bear. Oh, okay. Glad I flipped this over. So there is a keyhole on the back of this. So make sure you orient your design correctly. Yes. All right, I got my heat press 400 degrees. Piece of protective paper on the bottom. We're gonna do this image face up. No, I'm sorry, image face down, product face up. And because it is so thick, I'm gonna come up a lot on my pressure. And also, um, we're gonna do this for one minute and 20 seconds. So up my uh, time a little bit, up my pressure. Oh, man. Oh, lots of, got to go up a lot on my pressure. There we go. All right, and let it go. So, I've got about three minutes left on my mug in the oven. I'm just going to flip it. Like I said, I need a new oven. Um, well, thank you. I'm, I'm glad I could make you smile. Um, Tracy, how do we clean up Pro Spray when it's all over the table floor counter? Um, uh, denatured alcohol works really well. Um, if you don't have a spray box, I would definitely get a spray box. Um, and, um, you know, just like an old cardboard box and then just kind of put your stuff in there and spray it and that kind of keeps it contained. I know it still goes out everywhere, but, um, usually, uh, denatured alcohol will take it off. Take it off. <laughs> Uh, whew, this is, 
<laughs> All right, I got a couple seconds left. <laughs> I'm glad I could um, make you guys laugh today because I definitely made myself laugh. So, Woo. I'm really trying hard not to snort again. <laughs> Okay, this one's not as funny, but it does still have a pig on it. So this says, the armchair fantasy football 2021 champion, and it does have our same pig in the football helmet. So this is really cute. It's got the keyhole to hang it up on. So, U5757. All right. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, we're almost done. I got about a minute and 20 seconds left. Um... No, this is a George Knight DK20S. The snorting cell. Uh-uh. Mm-mm, Cheryl. No, ma'am. <laughs> we are not going there. That is, um... <laughs> uh... Um, when you use a similar spray, you get a texture on your substrate. Any idea why? A lot of these sprays are not, um, they're just not they're not going to work for sublimation. So what we've done, we've formulated this Pro Spray to, you know, you're going to get a crystal clear image. You're not going to get any of the haziness, any of the funky stuff you might see um, with, you know, like a, a spray tack that you get for fabric or for screen printing. Yes, the Tum Hug also can hide your drink. That is correct. So, um, yeah, I got about 20 seconds left. I see my image coming through. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like. Best thing ever. And one. Thismus. Oh. Okay. So I'm really going to start bringing my X-Acto knife in here with me when I do that. I say that. I can't even remember to keep my gloves in here, but I'm going to try to keep my X-Acto knife in here to show you guys how easy this is when you just kind of go down the seam. But as you all know, I am a space cadet, a snorting space cadet. like it when it does this though. It's very satisfying until it does that. Okay, so I'll see if we can see the difference between a high saturation and a low saturation. Okay, this isn't, yeah, you can, let's see, you can definitely see it. Oh, I am on the right camera. So let's take a look here. And so this up top is high saturation and this down low, this is low saturation. Let me see if I move this light a little bit. Um, so you guys can kind of tell that the top is a lot brighter than the bottom. And that's just because we oversaturated the image in Corel. Um, so you can use your saturation in Photoshop and Corel. I'm pretty sure Silhouette does it too, um, but I'm not as proficient in that as I am in Corel. So yeah, so definitely oversaturate your images on silver. Look how good that looks though. I really like the silver. I love the silver. Okay. Oh boy, oh, what a show guys. Man, what a show. Okay, 
thank you all for watching me. I very, I very much appreciate it. Um, uh, so, but let's talk about some things. Every single week, I ask you guys to leave me a review on a product that you are doing, and I randomly pick a winner each week, and I give them $25 in Condi credit. And this week, my winner, who I think Michael has already called, is Luann Ribble. Luann did our TN6R, which is our round storage tin, because, I love this, she says, I've had these tins for over two years. I finally used them for a young boy wanting to help seniors in his area. She made matching puzzles. The tins sub beautifully, and she'll be getting to more to use as gift boxes. So... I totally recommend if you're going to get the puzzle, get the matching tin, or get some, one of the um, one of the uh, the cute little linen bags that we have and sell it as a package deal. So the puzzle and the um, I know you guys want the pig. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Um, so okay, Craig made a really good point that the black looks better at the low saturation, and that is actually. There's something, I, when, it, when I first looked at the image, there is, it's actually not the same color. So this black on the bottom is a true black, and this black at the top, for some reason, is not a true black. So black is not going to do anything. Um, I mean, black is just, you know, it's going to sublimate on silver. You don't have to oversaturate black because it's just black. Um, so, okay. In addition to reviewing the products that you're doing, I also ask you to show me the products that you're doing by entering them in our gallery contest. Every week, we pick a random winner. We give them $25, but we also do a quarterly contest where we give away $400 in Connie credit for first place, $200 in Connie credit for second place, $100 for third place, and $50 for honorable mention. This quarter's theme, which ends March 30th, is show us what new products you are doing for 2021. Hmm. But, like I said, I do, well, we pick a random winner every single week. And this week, our random winner is very, very cute, Michelle Slape. She did this really cute mug that says, I'd rather be with my plants. I totally feel that. Um, so congratulations, Michelle. You will be, uh, your rep will be contacting you on how to receive your $25 in Condi credits. Also, um, I'm, I'm getting a... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> so the tins for the puzzle are TN6R and TN6S, I think. Um, so Bo just walked in and said he, um, I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll see about what we can do for the pig design, guys. But in talking about the... Um, <laughs> uh, in talking about the pig designs, that brings me to the last thing we're going to talk about today, which are these designs right here, which you can get. All you have to do is email me, swood, S-W-O-O-D, at condi.com, and I will send you these two patterns. Perhaps we will discuss the pig pattern. I don't know. And yes, Tracy, I definitely have to look up when I think or I close my eyes and that helps me clean my head better. So guys, thank you for watching. If you want these patterns, email me swood at condi.com. I will stop answering emails in 32 minutes. So you have until 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Whew, what a show today, guys. What a show. Thanks for watching. Thanks for snorting along with me. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. I hope it's warming up where you are. I'm excited for the snow next weekend, but I'll see you guys on Friday.